citizens of the republic welcome to another bad batch reaction review this is season three episode 13 mark this is worth after this we're we got two episodes left i'm not ready <laughs> i'm not I'm uh, this not. this one is called into the breach whatever that means uh could mean anything true so what we do know right now is this episode is 25 minutes with the credits and next episode is 22 minutes with the credits now you know it seems it seems kind of crazy that these are like short but in reality of like all bad batch episodes it's average yeah yeah that's true uh i think cuz i've i've seen people talking about how short the episodes have been and I think it's just because with three episodes left, there is a lot to wrap up. Oh, yeah. And I agree with that. Like, there is so much. So I'm expecting the season finale to be pretty long. And I might have seen it wasn't confirmed. It was someone, you know, hoping that it was confirmed. But it was like a picture that I saw that the finale could be it was like an hour and 15 minutes or something oh my gosh if that that's be, true that's huge that be, because that makes because that then that makes a whole bunch more sense that's true because then we're building up to that essentially yes that's what we're building up to um and yeah so i do i have a couple other things to say but i'll say them at the end just talking about kind of the season as a whole and, and a couple of other things in it that I, I want to see your opinion on it mm -hmm. uh, and people in the comments. So I will stop yapping and we'll go ahead and get into this episode and we'll talk about it right after. I My bad, man. Crazy. Ha! <laughs> Pause! <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that's kind of sick. That is insane. Wait, there's another? Why did I never realize there was another mountain back there that's, like, part of this facility? <laughs> I don't know if I recognize that either or not, if I'm being honest. The music in the vault is godlike, by the way. Oh, dude, it's absolutely insane. Hello. Oh, I'm she, she's going to notice the doll. I'm yeah. Eva. I like your doll. Dr. Carr gave it to me. She's the only nice one. <laughs> the droids, too. That's Jax, Sammy, and Baron. This is Omega. Things only get worse. Come on, Sammy. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Jesus, dude. That's so depressing. <laughs> so depressing. I like how she called her Omega, but because mm -hmm. like you'd say Omega if you don't have the accent, but they they probably don't even realize that, so they say o Omega still anyway. True. Was oh, that Echo? Um, I thought it was still Fee, but it, it could be. Yeah. Let's go. Good call. We can trust that Hydra snake. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's our best chance at finding Omega. Where the coordinates are transmitted directly to the Nava computer. Well, his intel about the orbital station checks out. But I can't confirm the rest of his story. <laughs> Do you think I'm lying? Yes. <laughs> they all said yes. <laughs> yes. Can't expect to walk onto an Imperial station completely unnoticed. But you can. And we'll be your security detail. You just walk us right onto the station. He cannot be serious. You were an Imperial before. Impersonating one should be easy enough. I can't wear mm. this. It's a captain's uniform. <laughs> Jesus. I was a vice admiral. Were you been demoted? <laughs> <laughs> hate clones. There it is. I, I can't do this. This is a captain's uniform. 
Dude, I really like the fact that they're actually using Rampart in, oh, yeah. in their whole plan. Yeah. She's cooking up some sort of plan, dude. Yeah, definitely. She always is. There, there it is. Go. I knew she took <laughs> something. Mm-hmm. I didn't stop her from causing problems in the past. I'm the chief scientist. I will run the vault as I see fit. Mm -hmm. I need to know who that is for no reason. <laughs> Want to know a secret? I escaped from this mountain before. Really? I'm doing it again. And I'm taking you all with me. There we go. Look. It's a layout of the vault. This is where we're sitting right now. These are the walls. These are the tubes in the walls the droids use to transport our samples. Won't take them long to notice you're missing. That's okay. I like a challenge. <laughs> this is good, dude. I don't even get some depressing music in that scene right there. We get some uplifting music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're approaching Coruscant. All the armor. Oh, I've seen this. This is yeah. They, they make their idea. armor all oh, black. Yeah. It's so yeah, sick. Like Dude, that looks insane. Dude, Crosshair's Crosshair's original Bad Batch armor, but all black, is might be the best clone armor ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Please identify. This is Transport Shuttle Alpha Four Four, transmitting landing codes. You're clear to land at Docking Bay Five Tac Zero Two. We can't stay docked for long. <laughs> they had to have Echo talk because he's the only one with a normal clone voice. Exactly. I know how to carry myself. You're the <laughs> ones that are going to stand out like overheated Gamorreans. <laughs> overheated Gamorreans. <laughs> I asked you a question, Trooper. Step aside. My division and my orders are classified. If you have an issue with that, Lieutenant, then contact Governor Tarkin. Oh, y yes, sir. Now, there it is. Just <laughs> use <laughs> use the title as the as the authority there. Yep. That's why the Empire is awful. <laughs> oh yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> like you're lower rank than me, and you're gonna question my authority? Yeah. We'll handle the rest. That's do your thing, sir. I don't think so. <laughs> Rampart's been this funny this episode. I love yeah. Captain. Report to the barracks. You'll receive further instructions. But sir, we just started our shift. Perhaps <laughs> you'd like to spend a few rotations in the brig for violating Article 15 of Imperial Standing Order 10. No, sir. <laughs> just started their shift. <laughs> <laughs> just started our shift. <laughs> sir? You, show me the station manifest. I will need your access card, Captain. <laughs> There's an access card. Yep, <laughs> right there. You. He's just, he's just on his phone. <laughs> he's just chilling on his phone. Where is your captain? Uh, captaining. Yes, well, there is an captaining consistency with this shuttle's base of origin. I will need you to verify your vessel's signature key. Oh, sure thing, boss. Right this he's, he's just gonna knock him out. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your captain? Uh, captaining? <laughs> Science vessels have heightened security protocols. There's no way you can all sneak aboard undetected. But I can. You can't go alone. He's not. Once you're aboard, Find a way to disable the proximity sensors. We'll follow behind, then attach our shuttle to the hull and hitch a ride directly to Tantis. Now, oh, wait just a minute. That's <laughs> not the plan I agreed to. Plans change. If there's anybody that can do it, it's Echo. Mm-hmm. He's the only normal clone, so he fits OG. in. 
Yeah, he's an OG. That actually looks sick. Oh my, and then the shot that, to the yeah. inside the vault. <laughs> Transition's crazy right there. Holy. <laughs> Jeez. Hello, Dr. Skulden. Skull? Is what? Something wrong. I gotta <laughs> look for that name in the credits. Yeah. Hmm. I could not tell what Omega said with that accent, dude. <laughs> I couldn't either. I couldn't either. <laughs> at all. So it's it's gonna be like two things happening at once, and yeah. that's probably how it's gonna end up working out. Is it's gonna be the Bad Batch actually getting in and causing chaos, and then them escaping the vault. Exactly. Proximity sensors haven't been deactivated yet. This isn't going to work. Their proximity sensors will detect us and shoot us down. Relax. Echoes on it. Report. We don't have time for more delays. All clear. It must have been a malfunction. So, proceed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to jump. Echo will come through. He just needs more time. Which we don't have. He's probably been captured. Abort the mission. Negative. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> that was <laughs> man, that was close. That's where it ended off on. Oh my god. Dude, that was oh. so intense. Because like I I genuinely did think at the end like there's another episode in between this and the finale. Yeah. They're like <laughs> something could go wrong. Okay, wait, but... hold on. Let me let me go through the credits and see if I can find that uh that name. All right, come on. How many producers are there on the show? <laughs> so many people cooking. Oh, my God. Mickey Mouse <laughs> Mickey Clubhouse. Mouse. <laughs> it's a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Okay, wait. Um... Oh. <laughs> I sold. Troopers? Dude, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, quit popping up, dude. Some trooper. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm losing four. He's gonna do it again. Oh my god. I knew it. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I knew it. Why does Disney Plus do that? Or you're just not gonna, gonna get to see it. And we're not gonna get him. I got a whole bunch of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, though. <laughs> Oh my god. That was way, that was way too fun. <laughs> and now it's stuck buffering anyway. I can't even pause it. Uh, all right. Shout out all Disney right. Plus. Shout out Disney Plus. <sighs> so, I mean, another really good episode. I I like the uh I like the evolution over time of Omega. Like Oh yeah. Yeah. Like this this episode really shows like she is a member of the bad batch like <laughs> yeah it's insane to see like her from like season one to now mm -hmm. so much of a difference like she can actually like escape on her own draw plans on her own you know she doesn't yeah need... she's matured an yeah, insane it's... amount it's great um, to see we got to see more of the vault yeah more of uh, it, like an actual connection between them, which we learn that like why they don't really have much of a connection. It's because they're not allowed. <laughs> True. So makes sense. Um, and then we ha we get to see Echo working with the Bad Batch again. Yeah, I was hyped. Like when he when he when I saw him, and he's like we, he was like wow. a big part in this episode yeah. too. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen him, so it's good to see him back. Oh, man. I, I'm not as with him, though, and it's just him and not Rex there. I'm getting a little worried. 
Uh huh. Because why? Why bring him back now? That's this all I'm saying. <laughs> well, originally they were like Rex was gonna be with them, but they couldn't get the coordinates. They had to go to Tantos. Yeah. So how how they're gonna do this now? I don't know. I don't know because like they're probably gonna have comms jammed when they get there too. Like they're not gonna be able to just oh. contact Rex while they're there. I would assume. There's no way. So I'm curious as to how that's gonna how that's gonna happen uh, because I don't I don't think they're. They're taking Tantus with just the, There's no the way. four of them and Rampart. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> so, wow. I mean, it's got to be a way that they get the coordinates somehow. Yeah, because you you, you got to think that there this is going to be like some massive operation with a whole bunch of help. So, yeah, because they're be. also going to get help once they open the cells and all the other clones come out true so but they they need more upfront help for sure um one one thing that i was going to bring up because we're we're getting toward the end of the season here so we we don't have to speculate as much like we're really seeing kind of where where it's all going so the discussions afterwards aren't as as lengthy i feel like True. So this might be the last thing we really uh, get into, unless you have something to say. Uh, but I saw people talking about this, and I mentioned it in before the last episode and at the end of the the one before that. I wanted to see Crosshair have to break the news that Omega was taken. And we didn't see that. We skipped over that. Just yeah. like we skipped over the first interaction of Crosshair and Hunter and Wrecker True. earlier in the season, which I was upset at that, too. I don't know why they're cutting those scenes out. I'm not sure either. Because it, it feels like such a weird thing to cut out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it seems pretty vital to the character in their development the, exactly like it it's it's important f just for the situation yeah exactly and the to show yeah. immediate feelings which like they show the feelings that they have anyway but i want to see the first reaction yeah like who said the first word when yeah. crosshair has seen them like who said the first word and how did they you know let crosshair on the ship you know like it Certain stuff like that, like, or and like, then, you know, the, after after everything the, they go through in the season, what is Hunter's first reaction to Omega being captured again? Yeah, it's just like nothing. It, it was just like nothing, essentially. Like when we seen him. <laughs> yeah, because he had already gotten over it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I those are just two things that, and and this is a shorter season than the other two. It's one episode shorter. Not saying they needed to add an episode, but what was so wrong with including those two pr pretty important scenes? Yeah, I'm, I'm not that sure. That a lot of really good stuff could have come out of it. Yeah, that's really odd. I'm not, I, that's because that's a good like thing to think about. Like, why did they even not? <laughs> did they even think about making those scenes, or did they just like completely skip over them or like i don't yeah, I, I kind of want to know what they were thinking behind that. yeah i'm because because uh, like at the end of the day like i'm gonna trust the writers and oh yeah and the showrunners like the show has been amazing this season has been great but i don't know that just seems like two things because like there was nothing else like that in the previous seasons where i felt like that yeah yeah that is a odd thing to do but like you said, I'll just I'll trust the writers because they can definitely write a way better show than I could. So <laughs> <laughs> the the show I would have is oh they escape to Babu and they live there for the rest of the, the rest of their life happily ever after. Yeah, we see the Rock every episode. <laughs> yeah, we see the Rock every episode. 
<laughs> One of the times he hits Wrecker with a rock bottom. You hear the glass break, crosshair comes out. He starts drinking beers. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, come on, we we need a full on wrestling match on Papu. <laughs> the Royal Rumble, Rampart's entrant number thirty. <laughs> no, no tech is the surprise. <laughs> number yes. thirty entrant, he's alive. Yes, dude. <laughs> oh man, that'd be perfect. Uh, well, Mark. Do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, not really. I'm just kind of, you know, and watching you know the rest of these episodes, and then, you know, by the finale, I should have my overall opinion on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, like I said, it's great. Um, I always say it. I don't think mentally I'm going to be prepared for this finale, but yeah. I gotta try to be at least somewhat ready. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got to be scared for the life of literally everyone. Literally everybody. <laughs> I because no I don't one, know. What's... No one else currently involved in the current mission. Currently involved in this mission, all of the Bad Batch plus Echo plus Rampart and Omega and all the kids and all the doctors, we don't see in anything else other than Bad Batch. <laughs> the thing so is, many too, like. Happen. They all have like equal character development, so that's why another yeah. thing where it's like now I'm really scared because they're all on the same level of like characters, like they all have their defined characters, and they went through like certain moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now that that also worries me. No matter <laughs> who I... dies, it's gonna be soul crushing. Uh, I mean, who, maybe multiple. I don't know, dude. It's yeah. gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. If it, oh my god, dude! I just come up with scenarios in my head and just want to die. If Literally, it just anything. ends with Hunter and Omega. Could you, dude? Dude, literally anything. If it's just Omega, like, dude, that would be, that would be insane. Oh my god! Literally anything. I, we, can, we can speculate all we want, but they could go in a million different directions. Yeah. Well, that'll be it for uh, episode 13. We'll be back next week with episode 14, and hopefully it is uh, not depressing, because you, you never know. I mean, it's not the finale, but something could happen directly before that, you know, leading into the finale. That's very true. Uh, very scared. But very excited because this show is absolutely bonkers, mate. Um, <laughs> with that, we will catch you next week for episode 14 of Bad Batch Season 3. Bye. Goodbye.